everyone welcome back to my channel um so today i wanted to film a very easy kind of glam look that i would do if i don't know what i want to do with my makeup um but i have an event to go to um so yeah it's really really easy if you just follow it step by step it is really easy and you'll be able to do it as well so i'm just going to jump straight into the tutorial so starting off i used a dip brow pomade from nyx um, and what I like to do with my dip brows is let it dry out a little bit just because it looks a little bit more natural on the brows because I don't like anything too much uh, on my brows and then I will go in and carve it out with a, a lighter concealer just to give my brows more arch and definition without overdoing the uh, brown pomade on my brows and then I went in with a transition color and this is essential when you're doing any kind of eyeshadow look it just makes everything look a lot more seamless more blended out um, and just it just looks really good especially when you have your eyes open you see that color kind of peeking through so then I'm going in with the Zoeva palette and I went in with the lighter brown shade and I used that underneath the transition color just to create a nice gradient and then I went in with another darker brown shade again underneath that to create more definition and then now I went in with a dark brown, the darkest brown shade in the Zoeva palette. And then I smoked that just on the outer V of the eyes to create more depth and definition. I then went in with the pale white kind of flesh tone shade and just applied that in the inner corners just to brighten up my eye look a little bit. I'm then going in with my current favorite eyeliner, which is the Kiko Precision Eyeliner. Um, I just find that because the brush is quite stiff and short, it creates more of a more of a clean kind of line that I want. And here I'm showing you just to connect the outer V of your eye and then kind of aim it up towards your brows. Don't go all the way up to the brows, obviously, but just kind of aim it up to the brows and then you'll always get your eyeliner perfect if you follow it this way. So here I'm just trying to perfect it, making sure that the line's straight and perfect. And then I'm then going back in with the darker brown shade to smoke out the outer bit of the liner just to create more of a smoky look. And I find that this looks a little bit more natural. I'm not trying to say that this look is natural because a lot of you may think that this is a lot of makeup. To me, this makes the eyeliner look a little bit more natural because there isn't such a harsh line. It's more smoked out and it looks amazing with the eyelashes on. And I'm gonna use my current fave um, eyelashes, which is the Huda Beauty Scarlet. Just showed a little clip of me wearing my top, just so none of you think I'm a bit kinky and I'm naked. I'm really not, okay? <laughs> I then went in with a um, Makeup Forever Primer. This is the uh, pore filling primer, uh, the mattifying primer, sorry, same thing. Um, and then I'm gonna use the EX1 F300 foundation. If you have olive undertones in your skin, this foundation is perfect for you. And I suggest you try it out. It's really inexpensive as well. It's only 12 pounds 50. However, it works really, really nice. I'm then going with the LA Girl Beautiful Bronze uh, Concealer just to start cream contouring. I mean, I don't do this all the time, but if I want something um, a little bit more structured and something that's going to last a little bit longer for my contour, this is what I would do first before I use a powder. So I'm just using a disposable makeup sponge, which is damp. Um, I used Fix Plus before that and then I dampened it with that and then I'm going in just to blend it out. You do want to work fast with the uh, LA Girl Pro Concealer just because they do dry quite quickly on the face. I'm then going in with the most perfect concealer I would say there is out there. Um, it's the Kevin Aquan um, Sensual Skin Enhancer. Absolutely amazing. It's very, very full coverage. I mean, the small tub um, that it comes in, the product comes in, it, it's lasted me over a year now, which is, I think is amazing. Uh, it is quite pricey, but I think it's totally worth it, just because it gives such a nice bright under eye look, uh, full coverage, which is what I love for my concealers. Um, I wouldn't say that I've got darkness under my eyes, but just, I like that bright look under my eyes, so I wouldn't really need to colour correct or any of that, this concealer just works great by itself. 
I've used it in the bridge of my nose to make my nose appear a little thinner. Um, on my cupid's bow, a little bit on my chin and some concealer just above my brows just to brighten that area up as well. And I'm going to go in with the Kat Von D Lock It Translucent Powder just to set that in place. And I'm going to bake under my eyes, especially if I've got an event to go to. Um, I want to make sure that I bake just so that it lasts all day and there's no creasing and I don't get oily very quickly. I'm also bringing that powder down the sides of my nose just to prepare it for contouring. I'm also going to apply the powder on my laugh lines and this is just going to prevent that area from creasing and I'm going to bake that area as well as well as on my chin so mainly the t-zone area which is where I would like to which is where I like to bake and apply powder. I'm then going in with uh, one of my favorite bronzers at the moment which I think is discontinued now from Kiko. It's their baked bronzer from their summer collection. It's got such a nice natural sheen to the product um, and it looks really amazing on. So here I was playing around with my camera and then I finally got it to how I want it to look. So my next video hopefully will look a lot better, better quality, better lighting. Um, so yeah, I was just playing around while I was doing the video and then I found a perfect setting that worked best for me. So I went in with the same translucent powder underneath the contour just to sharpen it up and define that area. I'm going to leave it to bake for a couple of seconds. and then dust it away with a duo fiber brush. I'm then going in with the MAC Soft and Gentle Highlighter. It's become one of my favorites um, quickly. I mean, I bought it years ago, I think when it first came out. However, it's been in the cupboard for quite a while. Um, and I recently just took it out and I'm obsessed with it again. So yeah, this is my fave highlighter at the moment. I also like to use the Kiko 208 um, water eyeshadow on top of that just because I think it, it works better for more olive skin tones. I'm moving back onto the eyes and I'm using a brown um, coal pencil on the waterline and I'm dragging that down ever so slightly onto my lash line just to prepare it for shadow. And then going back in with the Zoeva uh, brown eyeshadow and I'm just going to smudge that onto the lower lash line to create a nice shadow and to complement the colours that we used on our lids. And then going in with uh, MAC Soft and Gentle on a small detailed brush just on the inner corners and then I'm finishing off the eyes with the um, Kiko unmeasurable length mascara just because I feel like it works best for my lower lashes. Now moving on to lips, I'm going to create more of an ombre look um, which gives my lips more of a defined kind of plumper look. So I start off with a brown lip liner just to define my lips a little bit. I do this because I don't like to overdraw my lips, so I start off with a dark brown just on the very outline of my lips and then I smudge it and blend it in. Just slightly, doesn't need to be too blended in. And then I'm going to go in with the Lolita Kat Von D liquid lipstick all over, making sure to really blend that liquid lipstick in with the lip liner so there's no harsh lines. And then with the Kylie Cosmetics uh, Coco K, I think it's called, um, liquid lipstick, because it's a paler pink, I'm applying that just in the centre to give more of a plump look and it creates a really nice ombre. And then using my ring finger just to kind of pat it in and blend it in. And that is the finished <laughs> look. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I will be doing a lot more tutorials now that I've got my camera settings to how I want it. Believe it or not, I've had this camera for years and it's just now that I kind of got it to how I want it to look. Oh, and just a quick step as well is if you're wearing like a boob tube or a strapless dress, if you apply a bit of highlighter on your collarbones uh, and on your shoulder, it looks amazing in photos. So yeah.
give this look a try and let me know how you loved it and how it worked for you. Thank you guys, take care.